Powerhouse followers. So today we're going to be doing a fun summertime colored cheese board. A um, few things that I got here. So I suggest if you do not have any tools, this is a great starting um, point. So it's got 31 pieces in it. It's got this plastic cover that I have down to protect my surface. It has two pairs of gloves. It has some nice little stir sticks in there. Um, there is some pipe bets, which is really nice if you're just putting some fine um, pieces in there. It has these amazing plastic little Dixie cups that are reusable. And then some tweezers. So it's just a really good kit to have around. Again, you could use like a garbage bag, Dixie cups, pop popsicle sticks. Those all work as well. And then... I am working with that ColorPort resin in resin hardener as well. So this is food safe. They are four fluid ounces, so a total of eight. And then um, it does have a 30 minute cure time. I do want to point out that the temperature outside does play with that a little bit. Um, and it does take 48 hours to cure. Another thing I do have is that heat gun, and then I have these measuring cups from um, Envirotex. I love them because they have a little measuring on the back. Um, I tend to have three, so I pour my resin and my hardener in two separate ones, and then I pour it all into one because you're going to want it to be equal parts, otherwise your resin is not going to um, cure. So today I am going to be working with some of those acrylic inks. Um, I just like these. They're really easy to work with. If you're an artist and play with some other things, you might already have these laying around. I am using five different colors. This is going to be nice and colorful. And then of course I have a white and I am using my Resi Blast. So we're going to be creating some white waves on this. and. This resi blast really just helps form those cells um, and gets that little bursting effect. And last but not least, I got a nice little wood tray. I did go ahead and tape it all off. This one has legs. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and get started in pouring equal parts of my resin and my resin hardener. I just wanted to talk real quick though. Um, one thing to notice about these bottles is you do have a white cap for that resin and that black cap for that resin hardener. Um, you don't want to be mixing your caps up because you could be closing it if you have anything extra that you're going to save for a later project. Um, and these do have a nice little squeeze top. These also have a little seal on it. So I do find it a little hard to get off. And I just take that popsicle stick and I just pop right through there and then open it up. So whatever works best for you. And then today for this project, I am pouring three ounces of each of these. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pour that off screen and then I'll sh show you the mixing. Okay, I got those evenly poured now of equal three ounces and I'm just going to go ahead and pour it all into one cup. Um, if you're doing a lot of projects, again, I like the three cups because this one I can easily just wipe out with some paper towels and I probably wash it a little bit after time but if I keep it separate I can reuse it over and over okay I'm just gonna scrape out every little piece I can and again I also have um, my own popsicle sticks for this so now I'm gonna pour in that resin hardener I'm gonna scoop in every little piece I can. Okay. 
And now I'm going to go ahead and mix this. So I do have a problem. I tend to mix a little too quick. So I tend to create a lot of air bubbles. But you want to mix this nice and slow to avoid as many bubbles as you can. And for this resin, you want to mix four to five minutes. So I'm just going to slowly mix this. You can see that it's starting to see the color right there. You can kind of see it gets a little milky. Almost, I guess is the right word. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this, set my timer and mix this for four minutes, and then we will be right back again. Okay, so I'm done mixing this for four minutes. I do want to point out, you want to make sure you are scraping all the edges in the bottom, getting every little bit of resin and resin hardener mix that you can. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull in all my little cups here. So I have a total of five or six colors with a white. So I'm going to make sure I'm pouring these all into the cups. I'm probably going to do these pretty equal. So if you have a color that you are knowing is going to cover more surface, or maybe you want it to be a little bit bigger than the rest, make sure you are putting that into factor and pouring um, to your desired need. Okay, I am wanting to have some a good amount of clear left, so I might have to kind of even these out a bit. Okay, so that's about where I want it. Now I'm going to come in and mix those colors. So I am going to come in with that yellow and orange first. Um, with these, you want to make sure you give them a good shaking because um, they do have all the hues and stuff sell, settle at the bottom. And you want to make sure your colors are nice and vibrant. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to suck up all the liquid and then I'm going to drop a whole dauber in. And then I'm going to do the same with the orange. Whole dauber. This is a really pretty, it comes out, I think, pink, yeah. So it's a magenta. A whole dauber worth. And then this one actually does have a little bit of a pearlized color, but I just love the blue. Um, this one is called Waterfall Green. It's just a really nice turquoisey color. And then I'm going to mix my white in this one over here. Again, hold over. All right, and now I'm going to mix all these up, get the color nice throughout the whole resin. You want to make sure you're mixing this nicely into the, all the resin, um, along with, you want to make sure you're not putting too much color, because you can end up making it um, so it's not going to be as stable. So again, just mixing all the colors nicely, getting that pigment throughout the resin. Oh, I just love this purple.
Okay, now these are nicely mixed. Um, all the ink and resin has been thoroughly mixed. I am going to go ahead and add that Resi Blast into my white, and I'm going to do about two drops of it. Depending on how much resin you have, um, it can be one to two drops, and you're good to go. And I'm going to stir that really nice as well, making sure it's mixed throughout all of it. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and set these colors on the side now. And I'm going to bring that cheese board in here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start. I'm going to start with the yellow and then we'll go down the colors from there. So I'm just going to pour him out. And then I kind of take my popsicle stick and help spread it a little. Spread it to the edges. Oops. Gonna kind of bring it out just and down a little bit more. Okay, so now that I got that color down, I'm going to go ahead and come in with that clear. So I'm just going to do a little line of clear that's right up against that yellow. The best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect. It will, again, spread out. And then I'm going to come in with some white. And I can just pour it, or I can come in with that popsicle stick. Whichever way that you are most comfortable with. I'm going to go ahead and come in with that heat gun. Kind of zhuzh it a little bit. Again, it's also going to pop some of those bubbles, okay? So now I'm just going to kind of help move that white resin into the clear. And it's going to start to form some cells, and it's also going to give it that wave look. Okay, so now I'm going to come in with that orange. And I'm going to give it a little space. And if you want, you can even kind of angle it. It's your piece, so do whatever makes you happy, okay? So I'm using my popsicle sticks. I know very many people who use their fingers, so you could use your fingers to spread it. Um, just make sure you have gloves. And I'm just kind of moving it straight up to that line of white. And again, kind of spreading it out. I'm coming down at a little bit of an angle because that's what I want my piece to do. Okay, so again, coming in with a line of clear. And it doesn't have to touch that resin at all. It will, as you can see, it's starting to move up. And then I'm gonna come in with that white. Just butting it right along. right along the edge. Now I'm just going to come in with a little bit of a heat gun, pop in bubbles, and then also I'm just going to zhuzh it just a little. Okay. Now I'm coming in with that magenta. Again, I'm still sticking to that angle. That's just a personal preference. Use my popsicle stick to kind of spread my resin a little bit. I don't have to bring it straight up to the line. Oops. Because that clear resin pour will do that for me. Okay, bringing it 
down, down into the corner. Okay. So now I'm coming back in with that clear resin, just forming a line. So putting that clear resin down is gonna help the cells react when we put this white down, okay? So it's gonna help that resi blast form some really awesome um, cells as we can see up here. So I'm coming in with that heat gun again, just over the top pop in those bubbles and then I'm gonna zhuzh up the resin here, especially that white. Whew. I'm loving it you guys. And the more white you put in one area and the less it's gonna be a little bit more foamier as if you're making waves you know. Oops. Now I'm coming in with that turquoisey color. And you don't even need to make your colors as big as I am if you don't want it to cover the whole board. If you want a little bit of the raw board showing, you can do a little bit less resin. Two ounces would make an awesome piece on this. Two ounces of, again, both resin and resin hardener. Oh, I just love this blue, you guys. Okay. So I'm gonna come in with that clear. And then I'm going to pour that white that has the resi blast. And I'm just going to come in with that heat gun again. Pop some of those bubbles. And then I'm going to zhuzh it. Use that heat gun to just kind of form those waves. And you want to go up into that clear resin. Okay. Now my last bright summery color, that purple. Going to use that popsicle stick just to move it. I do have it coming off the edge here, which is not a big deal at all. Look how fun this is. Oh my. Okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and come in with that clear again. Going all the way across in front of that purple. Got to move it around just a tad. Okay. And then last but not least, I'm going to come in with that Resi Blast and that white. Right up along that clear. And then I'm going to come in with that heat gun. Just pop in the bubbles, and then also I'm gonna zhuzh it up. Okay. I am loving this, you guys. I do think I might come in and add just a little bit more white and resi blast up there since I have some. Just 
just a little bit. Nothing crazy. Just to kind of get a little bit more waves up here. And just kind of move it, judge it up a little. I'm going to keep it moving because I don't want to overheat the resin, right? You don't want to hold this in one spot and overheat it. Oh my gosh, I am loving this. I can't wait to see what it looks like once it dries and it's finished moving. Um, I do want to remind you guys, um, just kind of come back, check it every once in a while before it fully cures and make sure you're popping the bubbles. I tend to come in every 30 minutes for the first hour to two hours, but that's just my personal preference. Um, and yeah. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm kind of going along and covering my edge over here, making sure it's all colored with resin. It will eventually fall over the edge, but it just kind of helps it a little bit. All right, you guys. We'll be back in 24 hours and see what this beauty looks like. Okay, you guys, it's been um, 24 hours, a little over, um, but look at that. I love the way that white just formed in between all of the colors. Um, I do have a little bit more white in some areas than I wanted and things spread out a little bit more, but for the most part, I'm just in love. Again, this isn't what it looked like when I left it. Um, it did slowly pour and move to even out, but oh my gosh, those colors. And I love that I can still see the wood grain through the colors. I can even slightly, you can't see it on the camera, but I can slightly see it through this purple. So fun. Now, you know, it's food safe and I can go ahead and put my cheese and have this ready for the summertime fun. All right, you guys, thank you for joining and happy crafting.